Hi gamers, welcome to another episode of uh, Stormworks Build and Rescue. So today we are performing a firefighter mission with the Sky Crane. So we are going to uh, test a new module for the Sky Crane based on the Sikorsky S64 model helicopter in real life. And there's um, there's an, a, a real firefighter version of this uh, helicopter uh, though this firefighter version that I have created I think it doesn't resemble that much the real life counterpart okay so I think we should uh, hit the brakes here <laughs> okay so um, yes we have to uh, extinguish a fire and for that we're going to use this uh, module this new module of the sky crane and it's basically a huge tank with um, a water cannon at the bottom so we're going to use this for um, Extinguishing the fire to, to fight the fire But first we need to uh, load water into the tank and the way we do that is by Going to the sea Where there's lots of water right and here you can see the tank the tank is at zero and Let's get some water. So it's raining. So we have additional source of water <laughs> so now yes we have to get low enough to take water and activate the pump and there we are we are taking water uh, but we have to be careful not to sink while we are doing that and also we we have to do this fast because this helicopter um, eats fuel as uh, crazy so we are this um, tank can hold uh, 8,000 liters so currently we have 4,000 liters going up six thousand Well, I, I don't know how how big the fire is uh, But it's always good to have some uh, we're seeing okay, that's not good. So there 8,300 something Let's turn off the pump and let's go to the mission Let's activate it because it's not activated Okay, so we need to Take the our the ho auto hover off and let's go. Well, we can get there um, also with uh, if we want speed. We can since it's not so windy. We can try the the fans. With the fans, we really um, increase the speed and we get there faster. When using the, the fans, uh, we need the auto hover on. But um, yes, there are some risks of using the these fans. Uh, if there's wind, especially, you can get out of balance. And you can the, the the helicopter can be tilted. So if that happens, you must immediately shut off the fans. But as you see, it gives it, it gives a lot of speed, and this is critical. So there is the fire. I think we can now turn off the. The fans. 
I don't know if we need that much um, throttle. Should we turn on the camera as well? It has... Uh, this module also has a camera at the bottom so we can see. And let's see what's going on here. There's the fire. Okay. It's in the fort, okay. Uh, there's the fire. Okay, so the way this works, the way this works is that um, I need to switch places. The other, the other, um, the other post here, the other pilot seat, is for the firefighter module. So the way we do this is that once I'm in a good position that we see what we're doing okay I think that's that's a perfect position we can switch to the other and let's I can also control the The, the helicopter from this there is the water so okay I think I have to go backwards oh no to turn the let's turn there there we go almost off need to it's almost extinguished but um, there 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 I need to There we go. We extinguished the fire. So as you can see, this um, helicopter is uh, pretty handy. And we need now to get to um, the base again because we're running out of fuel. So one disadvantage of the of the crane is that it consumes lots of fuel. So you cannot really spend that much time in any mission. You have to keep an eye on the fuel. And I'm playing in rogue mode, so that's the reason why um, I cannot uh, show the what's going on um, outside in third person view. Okay, so we are really low on fuel. 
but there is the there is the 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 base we have the landing uh, the runway is just uh, below us And I'm almost out of fuel. I need to hurry up because um, we are almost out of fuel. I think we're. The engine is going to stop at any moment now. There, it's stopping the engine. Okay, but. Whoa! Crash landed. <laughs> there we are. Well, it was a success. We had a little bump there, but otherwise we're good. So how much? Uh, the tank is almost full. <laughs> you, saw, you saw that the, the tank is almost full. It's uh, 7,800 uh, liters and the capacity is uh, like... Um, uh, 800, uh, 8,000, so, sorry, 8,000 liters, more than 8,000 liters, and so this is the firefighter um, seat, and um, you can control here, you, you activate the flood pump to, to get uh, the water from the sea, here you um, activate the water cannon, and here we can activate the infrared for the for the camera and the lights the bottom lights uh, and uh, i can control from this post i can control uh, the jaw of the of the helicopter and the uh, the altitude right we can go up and down and the jaw and uh, this is with the with the arrow keys, and with W A S D, uh, I control the the sway of the of the um, the swivel. It's called the swivel of the of the cannon, and the uh, pitch of the cannon. So this is with W S A S D, A S D, and uh, yes. It, it has limited control over the helicopter because I, I need to be controlling the 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 cannon as well and the cannon is down there as you can see here it's a little bit hard to see but th there is the cannon sticking out so that's it um, I hope you enjoyed the video uh, if so leave a like and hope you to see you in the next one this is cyber settler signing off